So in this video, we will learn how to use Excel to calculate the probability based on the binomial distribution. So this will save you a lot of time and to find the final result for the binomial distribution. So you can download the corresponding files of this video on D2L. Uh, following the instruction for under this video, you can find the files. So we will use the example in class to explain how to use Excel to calculate the probability. The Motor Corporation company has purchased the steel part from the supplier for seven years and have found that 10% of the parts must be returned because they are defective. An order of the 12, uh, 25 parts is received. So based on uh, this story, you can identify what is the P the probability of success, and the number of the trials. So the first, what is the success in this example? So obviously, the success is if the part is de defective. Well, and if we found the part is defective, so the event is success. And the probability for, for a success is 10%. So the probability for success is uh, 0.1 or 10%. So how many trials we have? So an order of 12, 25 parts. So 25 is the value for the parameter n, the number of individual trials. So the first question is, what is the probability that one part is defective? The second question is, what is the probability that two parts are defective? The last question is, what is the probability that no more than three of these parts are defective? So to convert this three question into a um, math expression, and we, we got what is the probability for x equal to 1? It's equivalent to say what is probably one part is defective. What is the probability for x equal to 2? It's equivalent to ask what is the probability that two parts are defective. What is the probability for x smaller and equal to 3? It's equivalent to ask what is the probability that no more than three of these parts are defective? And now we know the two value for parameters, n equal to 25 and p equal to 10%. So now how can we figure out the value, the probability for the three questions? So we can just use Excel to help us. So in the file called the binomial practice the xlsx file you will find this page one page is called question another page is answer so you need to choose the question section so i already helped you to set up everything here so on this page you will see one column is x it's uh, here you can find 0 to 25 it is the possible value for x. And this column is for the value, the probability cell. And then we already identified value for n is equal to 25. The value for p is 10%, which equivalent 0.1. And the first question is ask you, what is the probability for x equal to 1? And the second question, what is the probability for x equal to 2? And the last question is, what is the probability for x smaller and equal to 3, which equivalent to say what is the probability for x equal to 1, a 0, 1, 2, 3. So how can you find those probability? So in order to find the probability x equal to 1, what you should do is first choose the, uh, the cell you want to place your answer. So let's say we choose O3 as the place to choose place our answer. So click cell O3. Then uh, use your mouse tab insert tab. Click insert tab. Oh no, sorry. Click formula tab. After you click the formula tab, you will find one uh, button called the insert function. Click insert function. So after you click insert function, you will see this window called insert function window. So we have two small blanks. So first, you, what you need to do is try to select the category. So there is a little arrow here. You need to click it. 
So after you click it, it expanded. So you need to choose the uh, statistical button. So click statistical button. So after you choose statistical button, you can find many different functions. And in order to find the binomial distribution probability, you need to find the button named binomial. So it's it's here binomial disk. So you can find binomial disk and binomial invert. So we use this function binomial disk not invert. So after you click the binomial disk, click OK. So now you can see we have the four window, four blanks. You need to fill in them one by one. The first is numbers. So what is numbers means? So Excel have already defined uh, uh, define it. So numbers is the number of the success in trials. So in class, we learn the parameter n is the number of uh, of success in trial. Uh, sorry, the number the x is the x is the number of success in trials. So now in this case, we consider x equal to one. So you can type one into this blank. The second is as your trials. So what is the trials? So the definition of trial is here. It's the number of the independent trials. So in our class, we know we use n for our trials. So in order to choose the value for trials, you click this little icon here. After you click it, then you can choose 25. You can choose cell G2 and click this icon again. So you choose the the number of the success. Uh, the you so you choose the number of the independent trials. Now you need to decide what is the probabilities. So the probability in our question is the value for p. So now you choose the value for p. That is H two cell, and click this icon again. So for the last one, what is accumulative? So here, you just need to type false. The reason you type false, because you can look at here. One, if, uh, if you type a true, it means the cumulative distribution function. The second, the probability mass function. Obviously, we only consider x equal to 1, not x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So you just need to type false false make sure you type false here and click OK. So now the probability of 0.199416 is a probability for x equal to 1. So now for the probability x equal to 2 you can do the same thing. First choose the place you want to place your answer and click the insert function and the choose statistical and then scroll down, find the binomial disk, disk, and click OK. And the numbers of success is now we consider x equal to 2, so we type 2 here. So trials, we have 24 trials, tri of 25 uh, independent trials. And for the probability, we have 0.1. And for the cumulative, you just type false. So you click OK. So the 0 0.26588 is the probability for x equal to 2. So now the last question, what is the probability for x smaller and equal to 3? So which means you can calculate x to 0, x to 1, and x to 2, x equal to 3, and add all four probability together, you will get the final answer. So let's do it one by one. So first calculate the x equal to 0. Click insert statistical and choose binomial and click OK. Here the value for x is 0 and the trial is 25, probability is 0 0.1 and the value here is false and click OK. So then calculate x equal to 1, create insert function and then here statistical and uh, oh, wait. I missed it. Okay, binomial disk and okay, 
and the number added to one and trial is 25, probability is 0.1, and false. And click OK. Number x equal to 2, you do the same thing. And choose binomial disk. OK. So since it's x equal to 2, and the trial is 25, and the probability is 0.1, and here false. OK. The last one, insert function, uh, binomial disk, OK, x equal to 3, trial to 25, probably equal to 0.1, and type false, and click OK. So now you get the probability for x equal to 1, x equal to 2, x equal to 3, 2, 3, and then you need to add all of them together. In order to add all of them together, you type, choose the cell you want to place your final answer and type equal and uh, choose the cell uh, G4 plus uh, G3, G4, or G5, G6, G7, and then cl uh, click return. Then you got the 0.763591. That is the probability for x smaller and equal to 3. And now another approach to answer this question is pretty easy. To in order to know x smaller and then and equal to 3, you know it is just the cumulative probability from 0 to 3. What can you do is to the place you want to place your answer, let's say R6, then click insert function. And you need to choose the binomial disk again, click OK. So the number here, you choose the upper bound, the upper bound, the upper boundary of this question, it is 3. And the trial is still 25, probably is still 0.1. So here you need to pay more attention. So before we only calculate x equal to certain number, but now we are calculating the cumulative probability for x from 0 to 3. So now we are think about cumulative distribution function. So instead of typing false, we can type true. And then click OK. Can you find these two numbers are the same? It should be because the probability x smaller and equal to 3, it is a cumulative probability for 0 to 3. So you don't so in that case you don't need to add one by one. You just calculate what is the probability for x smaller and equal to 3. So both these two approaches can get the exactly same answer. If you cannot understand the second approach, you should know how to find the answer based on the first approach. So um, we have the homework related to this video. After you watch it, you have no problem to work on your homework problem.